let's solve this question. Let's start by reading the data set. All right. So nation X is a democratic country with three major political parties. Okay, so we have three major political parties. Researchers conducted a study that compared the popular approval ratings of nation X's first 10 leaders among people who identified themselves as being members of one of the three parties. All right, so a survey was done. So survey was done on people. So people surveyed belonged to one of the three parties. Let's say the three parties are A, B, and C. So the people who, sur who were surveyed were from one of these three parties and 10 leaders were surveyed. All right, so let's read further. The researchers found that each leader had the highest approval rating from people who identified themselves as being members of the same party as that leader. What does that mean? It means that a leader from party A will have highest approval rating from people of party A. Right? Similarly, leader B will have highest approval rating from people of party B and C. All right. Let's read further. The results of the researcher study are shown in the graph. So here is the graph available to us. All right. So uh, uh, the the parties are the same. We we also considered A B C. So we have A B C parties, and we can see that these these ten leaders uh, are there. So the approval ratings for these these are the approval ratings, and these have been compared. So for example, for the first one, uh, the first leader has received approximately eighty one percent approval rating from members of party A. Uh, approximately 40% approval rating from party B, members of party B, and somewhere around 15% approval rating from members of party C. Now, we know here that uh, uh, any leader uh, gets highest approval rating from people who, who belong to his own party. So, it means that this first leader uh, who received highest approval rating from members of party A, it means that this leader belongs to party B. Right, let's check the second one. So for the second leader, the highest approval ratings are from party B. It means that this leader belongs to party B. So this is how we can read the graph. Uh, with this understanding, let's proceed to the question step. According to the information provided, dash of the first 10 leaders were members of party A. So we have to select the number of leaders who were from party A. So let's go back to our graph. So we need to find the number of leaders from party A. How can we find that? We know that leaders from party A will have highest approval rating by members of party A. So basically, the leaders who have this bar as the highest bar are from party A. So let's see which all leaders are there. Uh, so leader 1 definitely is from party A. This is the highest rating. Uh, B, no. Uh, the second one is not. Third one is not because this bar is highest. For the second one also this bar is highest. For the fourth one, yes. Because this bar is the highest. Fifth one, no. Because this bar is the highest. Sixth one, yes. Because this bar is the highest. Seventh, no. Because this bar is the highest. Eighth, yes. Because this bar is the highest. Ninth, again, no. This is highest. And tenth, yes. Because this is highest. So we have one. Two, three, four, five. So the answer to the first blank is five. So the correct answer is five. Let's read the statement further. And dash of those leaders. So we are talking about those leaders. What does those refer to? Those refer to these five leaders. So we have to select that out of those five leader, leaders uh, had approval ratings higher than 50% from members of each of the three parties. So we have to find that how many of these five leaders had approval ratings greater than 50% from members of each of the three parties. So let's get back to the graph. So since we need to find that how many of these had uh, uh, more than 50% rating from members of each graph, let's draw a line here at 50%. And we just need to find that how many of these five leaders have approval ratings more than 50% for from each of these three parties. So basically out of these five, we have to find that how many have all three bars that go beyond 50%. All right. So let's see for the first one. So for the first one, no, all three bars, this this is less than uh, 50%, this is less than 50%. So, and let me remove the previous annotations. All right, so for the first one, all three uh, approval ratings from all three parties are not more than 50%. Let's evaluate the second one. So this is less than 50%, this is le less than 50%. Again, not true for this one. Then for this one, 
uh, again the other two ratings are less than 50 percent so not true for this one it is close to 50 percent but less than 50 percent and this one is less than 50 percent so again this one is not um, uh, this one also does not have uh, more than 50 percent ratings from all three parties and the last one also has less than 50 percent ratings from the other two parties so none of these five leaders none out of these five leaders has uh, approval ratings more than 50 percent from all three parties so the correct answer is none so the correct answer here is none hope that helps